President Muhammad Buhari has signed into law three bills to improve the anti-money laundering and counter-terrorist financing proliferation financing framework in Nigeria. The bills are the Money Laundering Prevention and Prohibition Bill 2022, the Terrorism Prevention and Prohibition Bill 2022, and the Proceeds of Crime Recovery and Management Bill 2022. The President, while signing the laws in the Council Chamber of the Presidential Villa Abuja, said that the bills were in tandem with this administration's commitment to fight corruption and illicit financing activities. In tandem with this administration's commitment to fight corruption and illicit financing activities, I am today assenting to three major items of legislation critical to our governance agenda and the development of Nigeria. This assembly, under the leadership of the Senate President and Speaker, and their colleagues have certainly carved out a worthy legacy for themselves. The signing of these bills into law today not only strengthens the anti-money laundering and counter-terrorist financing framework in the country, but addresses the deficiencies identified in Nigeria's second round of mutual evaluation as assessed by Intergovernmental Action Group against money laundering in West Africa on compliance with the Financial Action Task Force global standards. The enactment of the Proceeds of Crime Recovery and Management Act 2022 makes comprehensive provisions for the seizure, confiscation, forfeiture, and management of properties derived from unlawful activity. I have therefore taken time to note the emphasis placed on collaboration, synergy, and unification of strategies and measures to combat the scrooge of money laundering and terrorism financing and proliferation financing in the Act. The primary objective of these measures are to ensure effective, unified, and comprehensive legal, regulatory, and institutional framework for the implementation of the acts. This is profound and calls for coordinated response to the challenges posed by the menace. I therefore charge all relevant agencies to ensure effective implementation of these new laws. The robust framework diligently enshrined in the acts can only serve useful purposes when every bit of them is enforced.